you have a chair or a table or some other piece of furniture that's not sliding across the floor exactly the way you would like, there's several ways to uh, address that issue. One of the quickest and easiest solutions is to use adhesive back polyethylene glides. Another easy way to address the issue is to use nail on polyethylene glides like these. For a more secure attachment, you can uh, step it up a little bit and go to uh, screw on glides like these. These polyethylene glides, like these made by Tech Team, have a very low coefficient of friction. That means that they will slide very easily across hard surface flooring or carpeting. Tech Team also makes these screw on felt glides which are also a very effective solution for using on hard surface smooth flooring such as hardwood, tile, or linoleum. The question many people have with such a wide assortment of uh, glides available is which one is going to be best for my application and how do I install it? One of the first things you want to do when we're going to install a glide on the bottom of a chair or table leg is to measure the diameter of the leg and also measure the diameter of the glide. The reason for this is that we don't want to end up with something that's too small like for example this Tech Team number 823 which as you can see is uh, just a little bit too small for this particular application. We also don't want to end up with something like this Tech Team number 826 which at uh, two and a half inches is obviously way too big for this particular chair leg. We want to use a glide that's going to provide the correct function and also fit in a manner that's going to uh, be aesthetically pleasing. For this particular application we are going to use Tech Team's number 824 one and a half inch or 38 millimeter glide which really looks pretty good in here and is going to give us an excellent function. Tech Team's number 824, 823 and 826 glides have an adhesive backing so that you could apply these with adhesive but for this particular application since a chair like this looks like a kitchen or dining room chair is going to get a lot of use in and out what you really want to do is use the screw on method of attaching it. The set comes with the appropriate screws, they're Phillips head, you could use a number two Phillips screwdriver and just screw it into place. However, the big challenge is always finding the exact dead center of the chair leg. If we can't identify the exact center of the chair leg so that we can screw this on so it's properly centered, we're going to have a, uh, a fitting that's not going to look too good and also not going to perform the way we want. Okay, you've already noticed that we have a uh, little hole here in the middle of this leg. That's because this particular leg is round and it was made on a lathe and therefore something had to hold the center and that left its mark here. But that's not always the case. There are many times where you have a round leg and there's no way to identify the center. Enter this clever little device made by a company called PowerTech. It's called their Center Finder, oddly enough and uh, we picked this up on Amazon for about six or seven dollars and this clever little device will help us find that exact center every single time. This clever little device has two ribs on one side at a 45 degree angle, two on the other at a 90 degree angle. We're going to use the 90 degree side for this particular example. We're going to use the 90 degree side of this and since uh, the chair leg is round and therefore a circle when we put this on there and lock it up, what happens is, since this rides around the circumference of the circle, this particular line always forms a diameter. And as you know, a diameter always goes through the center of the circle. Now we have one diameter, and if we just draw a line through that diameter, like this, and then we rotate this a little bit so that we have another diameter, and we draw a line through that, Wow, look at that. These lines cross at exactly dead center of this round chair leg. Here we have Tech Team's number 820, one and an eighth inch diameter, felt chair glides. The felt chair glide offers a really good alternative 
to using the uh, the polyethylene glides. It has a soft texture, and since it's felt, it offers a little bit of cushioning. If you have flooring you're really worried about, and you've had bad experience with uh, hard surface types of glides, these are the absolutely perfect product. Installing them is really simple. Get it in there nice and snug, and now you have a perfect installation, and this will slide nice and easily over your hard surface flooring.